Namaste, everyone. Welcome. Christopher here. Uh, bring another Zoom practice, practice to you. Excuse me. So uh, today we're going to start out with a breathing exercise, pranayama. So we'll do our alternate nostril breathing uh, and we'll move into that. So first we're going to find a nice comfortable seat. So again, if you need a lift under the hips, uh, you can bring something there. Let the knees settle down. Try to find a comfortable place. If the knees are sticking up, that's fine. As long as you can sit up nice and tall uh, through the crown, relaxing the shoulders. Let's go ahead and close the eyes. Keep the lips together and let's breathe in and out of the nose here. Try to form your yogic breath. So be very helpful for us in the next few moments. So as we extend up through the crown, relax the shoulders down and gently squeeze between your shoulder blades. And we just pause here and breathe deeply in and out of the nostrils. and try to use all of the breathing area that you can. So as we breathe in through the nose, it starts to fill the lungs here, but we're actually expanding the belly. Okay, the diaphragm's gonna drop down, lungs will start to fill up from the bottom right up to the top. So we feel the expansion of the rib cage, and we start to feel the lift of the collarbone. And then in reverse, as we exhale through the nose, the collarbone will drop down, ribs will squeeze in, and then we can gently draw that navel in towards the spine, it's gently up as well, and again, this pushes all of that residual air out, and it helps clean out the lungs and prepares for our practice. Find your breath. Continuing to breathe deeply here. <clears throat> we don't want any constriction through the glottis as we do in our practice sometimes. We're just going to breathe deeply in and out of the nose and we're going to move into what we call the alternate nostril breathing. Okay? So we're going to leave the left hand down on the knee or thigh where it's planted and we're going to use our right hand. Okay? So the right hand, the peace fingers, the first two fingers, we're going to bow into the palm. We use our ring finger and pinky and our thumb. So we bring that right hand in front of the face. Okay, we've got the thumb on the right side and the two fingers on the left. Good, sitting up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in through both of your nostrils. Fill yourself up. Good, exhale completely here. Release all the breath through the nose, empty out. Now, take your thumb, press it into the right side, and then inhale deeply through the left side. Fill yourself up. And then close that left side, open the right side, and exhale through the right completely. Good. Now inhale through the right, fill up, fill up, fill up. Good. Close that right side, open the left side, and exhale the breath smoothly. Let's do one more round that way. That was round one. Inhale through the left, fill yourself up. Close that left side, open the right side, and exhale the breath completely through the right side. Excellent. Moving forward. Inhale deeply through the right side, fill up. Close that right side, open the left, and then exhale completely. Now we're going to change it up a little bit here. Now inhale for the count of four. In, one, two, three, four, and then close both sides and hold your breath gently here. Okay, so just for a moment. So that was a count of four, inhaling, we're holding the breath. Good, now the thumb, lift the thumb and exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now inhale, one, two, three, four, Close both sides. Now bring the thumb in. Close and retain the breath. Sit up nice and tall. Draw the shoulders back. Good. Breathe. You can close your eyes here and listen along if you like. Now both of the fingers on the left, lift them. Exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One. Inhale. One, two, three, four, and retain. So be comfortable here in your retention. If you can't hold the breath, remember you can always release and breathe nice and deeply. Good. Lift the thumb right. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale right. One, two, three, four. Retain. So if you're counting along at home and you want to do this on your own, with this version we're doing the inhalation for the count of four, the retention is up to the count of sixteen, and the exhalation is for the count of eight. Now lift the fingers left and exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more. Inhale one, two, three, four. Retain. Exhale right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Retain. Lift the fingers, left. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Lower the right hand down. And now breathe nice and deeply through both of the nostrils, filling yourself up. Good. You might find at this time you might have to blow the nose. It does loosen some of the uh, mucus and so forth that's in the breathing uh, apparatus and the sinuses. So if you need to clear those, you can do that now. And then find your seat. Just take a few more nice deep breaths and we're going to begin our practice from here. Now that we've introduced uh, some nice breath, some oxygen, and some energy is starting to be stimulated within our system. Breathe deeply. Relax the hands down. 
Good. From here, we're going to remove anything that we're sitting on, and we're going to come into a hands and knees position into our table. Palms under shoulder, knees under hips. So the shoulders are warm, the breathing equipment is warm, so we're ready to go with the rest of the body. So let's start with the spine. Push into the feet, push into the palms, extend the crown forward and draw your shoulders back away from the ears. Hold the low belly up towards the spine and breathe here. Really try to fill up the lungs. Good, take one more. Few ka, few cat. So inhale into a ka. And let's pause here to let the body adapt. So keeping the shoulders over those wrists, so don't let them fall back here. Lift your chin and lift your tailbone. The belly and the low ribs melt down towards the earth. So keep pushing into the hands, keep pushing into the tops of the feet. Look up, breathe. Good, inhale, lift the tail, lift the chin, look up, fill up. And then as you exhale, we move into the opposite position, nice and slowly. So again, keeping shoulders forward, tuck the chin, arch the spine, push the hips forward, pushing into the tops of the feet. Cat. Good, one more full cycle of breath. Inhale. Full exhale. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then a few rounds moving. Inhale. Lift chin and tail, pushing into feet and palms. Exhale, tucking chin, tucking tail, arching the back. Good, big breath comes in, fill up, move into cow. Exhale, arch into that cat. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, neutral. So the flexibility of the spine has been increased with the, that movement there. Now let's turn on the muscles and we'll go from there. So still, in our table, gazing straight down. On your next breath in, send the right leg straight back. So keep the shoulders forward. Don't let them fall back. Don't lean over to the left side. Try to keep your heart right in the center there. Good, breathe. Hold that low belly in. Good, on your next breath in, maybe we can add in that left arm. Good, really working with the right hand, pressing, gripping. Draw that left shoulder back and flex that right foot. Good, take a really nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower the palm. Lower the knee. Let's do one cow, one cat. Inhale, lift the chin and the tail. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tail. Good. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, prepare for the opposite side. As we breathe in, extend the left leg. Again, the upper body stays very still. Heart in the center. Push the earth away. Draw the shoulders back. Hold that low belly in. Good. Next breath in. Join the right arm into the equation if you like. Lift it right up alongside the head. Palm turns in. Spread the fingers. Draw the shoulder back. Good. Really push and grip with that left hand. Hold that low belly in. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. Extend. Reach. Exhale, lower the palm, lower the knee. One cow, one cat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, neutral. Bring the big toes together. 
As you exhale, let the hips sit back towards the heels. Bring your forehead towards the earth. If it doesn't touch comfortably, remember we can stack the palms, or you can bring the fist there and set the head, the forehead down and relax. Relax the arms as best as possible. If the forehead is on the earth, we can take that full position with the arms back alongside the shins, palms up. Let those shoulders go. Breathe. So start to wiggle the hips side to side, back and forth, just this nice little subtle movement into the hips. Wiggle your fingers. You have them back. Good. We're going to have, go ahead and reach the hands towards the top of the mat. Lift the forehead up, and then separate the palms back to that shoulder distance. On an inhale, draw yourself up, shoulders over wrist, curl the toes under, separate the feet, and then start to lift the knees and the hips up, and move in that inverted V, that downward dog. So it might be really tight on the backside, so we might have a, our knees deeply bent here, we try to relax the head, look back towards the toes or up towards the navel even. Good, pedaling the feet. Just introducing some stretch to the back side of the body. Maybe you want to bend that left knee and press that right heel. And just breathe into that nice stretch for a few moments. Good, and let's go ahead and switch or keep pedaling. Bend that right knee, press that left heel. You can join along. If you like that movement, you can keep walking back and forth. Just try to keep it equal between the sides. Good, now let's press the right heel down, straighten the right leg as much as possible, starting to find that still position. Both heels press. Now if we think about our hands as well, we want to press into the thumbs and the peace finger, so the inner edges of the palm, keep the head relaxed. Good, inhale up onto the toes, lift the hips, press your chest back towards the feet, and then exhale, press the heels down, squeeze the navel in. Let's do one more. Inhale, rise up onto the toes, press the chest back, and then as you exhale, press the heels down, push them way into the palm. Now inhale, come up onto your toes, Bend your knees, look between your hands, and as we exhale, just start to walk, step, or hop those feet right up to the front, depending on where you are. Inhale, come up halfway, bring your hands onto the shins, look towards the horizon, and lift the shoulders. This is really exposing the sternum, the heart center. Good, inhale again, lengthen. And then exhale, start to walk yourself down. So the fingers might come to the earth, and you start to draw the chin, nose, and forehead in. Let's do that movement again. We inhale, come up, spine level with the earth, lift the shoulders, reach the crown, look forward. Exhale, slowly start at the top, belly, ribs, heart, chin, nose, forehead in. Last one, inhale, nice and long. Exhale, this time as you walk down, take a grip on the back of the legs and hold yourself here for a few breaths. So let the head reach towards the feet, bring the hips forward, even with that little bend in the knees, keep pushing heavily. Lift the hips up. Good, take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, draw yourself in half, and then start to soften the knees. Relax the arms, relax your head. You can even bring the hands into the opposite elbow crease and just let them dangle there. Breathe deeply in the rag dog. Good. If you've got those hands in the elbows, relax the hands towards the earth. Keep the head dangling there. Say yes, just nodding back and forth. And then pause. And then say no, side to side. And then pause. 
leaving the arms and the head dangling there. Put some weight into the feet. Wait for an inhale, and then slowly begin to roll up. Let's see if we can take five breaths. Challenge yourself there. Good. Two. Three. Four. And lastly, we start to lift the head, roll the shoulders back, palms open. We come up into that final stance of Tadasana. Nice and proud. Now we begin to move the entire body a few rounds of some sun salutations. So we'll start up now nice and slowly to introduce the movements to the body. Then we'll pick up the pace for a few rounds so we can bring the cardiovascular system into play and get the whole body active. Take a nice deep breath in. Good. Exhale. Let's bring the palms together, heart center. On the inhale, reach the arms up. Look up. Now try to keep the arms right alongside the head as you exhale and reach forward over those hips. Bring the fingertips down, palms down. Bend the knees if you have to. On the inhale, we're going to step back with the right leg here. Point the toes, fill up the lungs, look up. Good. Pause here. So we've got the left knee over the left ankle. The foot staying right where it was at the top of the mat, up onto the fingertips for the few moments that we're here. Big breath comes in. Now retain the breath and step back to the top of the push-up. Good. And then breathe here. So inhale deeply. As we exhale, we're going to lower the knees, keep the hips lifted, and lower the chest, the chin, or the forehead. A plane the stronger. Now on the inhale, we just lift a little bit of the upper body, slide it forward, and drop the hips down. Point the feet, grip with the fingers, draw back, squeeze the elbows in. A little back bend here. Look up. Fill up. Now curl the toes. As we exhale, we're going to push up and back into the inverted V. Good. One big movement. Breathe deeply. So the same foot we started with, right one. Inhale, step it forward, lower to the left knee, and point the left toes. Now we're up on the fingertips again, coming out of the movement of the salutation. Just ready to finalize it here. Take one more nice deep breath in, curl the left toes under. As you exhale, big step forward, and a fold in. Breathe. So your fingers are on the earth, take a gentle grip on the legs, good, soften the knees a little, on the inhale start to reach forward and then all the way up, look up, exhale, relax the arms all the way down, Tadasana, nice deep breath comes in, exhale, palms together, good, inhale, Reach up, look up, arms alongside the head. Exhale, reach forward, bring the fingertips down, bend the knees, palms. Inhale, left leg back, fill up, look up, point the toe. Hold the breath, step back to the top of a push-up, and then exhale, knees, chest, chin, or forehead. Inhale, slide forward, lift through the head, back to the head, point the toes. Curl the toes, exhale, press back, inverted V. Inhale, left leg forward, right knee down, point the toe, look up. Exhale, right foot forward, next to left, and fold. Inhale, arms first, next to the head, up, look up, maybe arching back. Exhale, relax the arms down, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's do it again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, fill up, look up. And then hold the breath, 
Left leg back, top of a push up. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, forehead. Inhale, slide through, curl the toes. Exhale, push up and back. Inhale, right leg forward, left knee is down. Exhale, left foot next to right, lift the hips and fold. Inhale, arms forward, reach up, arch back. Exhale, relax the arms down. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back, fill up, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, forehead. Inhale, slide through. Exhale, hips rise. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, reach up, arch back. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Last two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot. Hold the breath. Left foot. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin, forehead. Inhale. Slide through. Look up. Exhale. Lift the hips. Press back. Inhale. Right foot. Exhale. Left foot. Inhale. Forward up and arms to back. Exhale. Arms down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot back. Right foot back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slide through. Exhale, hips rise. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward fold. Inhale, reach forward up, arch back. Exhale, relax the arms down. Separate the feet. Close the eyes, breathe. Good. Let's open up the eyes. Standing up at the top of our mat, we're going to have those feet separated. Uh, have about that two fist distance between the heels and stand tall. Take the arms straight out in front of you, palms are down, draw your shoulders back. Soften into your knees just a little bit and then come up onto the toes. So lift your heels up. Good. See if you can straighten your legs. Come up really high now on those toes. Do the best you can. So keep rolling the weight inward into those big toe mounds. Don't let them lift, don't let them fall out. Good, take one more nice deep breath in here. Keep those heels lifted and start to bend your knees. See if you can start to lower yourself down. Good, try to keep those shoulders back. Maybe you can lower right down to those heels. If you need those arms as balance, you can keep them there. You can bring your hands to your heart. So from here, we're gonna lower down to the seat. So you wanna do so carefully. You can lower those fingertips down if you need them. Good, and the seat, and lower right down onto the back. And just take a few moments here, separating the feet, turn the palms up, and just breathe. Okay, let the whole body go for just a few minutes, and moments, I should say, and breathe nice and deep. Good. And from here, we're going to move into an inversion. So you have some options. If you're at home and you have a wall and you do a legs up the wall sort of practice or uh, some way to put the legs up, or you're going to do the legs up in the middle of the space like you would if you were here at the studio. Also offer you any uh, variation of the shoulder stand. Um, so if you need a lift, a blanket under the shoulders, you can apply that now. Otherwise, we're going to come down onto the back and you can start to move safely into your um, inversion, your shoulder stand here. 
So if you don't have one and you want to watch the setup before you move into it, please watch the video before you lie on your back. So we're not turning our head while we're trying to come up into this position. So we're going to lie on the back, gazing straight to the ceiling, legs together, arms like railings. Good. We're going to start to walk the feet back, almost like bridge, but then draw the knees into the chest. Really press heavily into the palms, pop the hips up, and start to straighten the legs a little bit. This will help keep the hips up over the torso. Bend your elbows, plant your palms on the low back. So it might be down by the hips, could be a little bit higher up the back. Good. Elbows in as close as possible at this point. And see if we can start to lift our feet and the legs up. So you might be in the sort of position here, or you might be able to come right up as straight as you possibly can. So wherever you are, remember we're not looking around, gazing straight up towards the ceiling. And we're going to breathe nice and deeply here. So if you've come up into the shoulder stand, after a few moments of moving into it, you can do your own sort of um, adjustment. So you might cross the legs and squeeze them together, try that a few different ways. You might draw the knees towards the face, curling up and allowing some weight to come out of the arms so you can make some adjustments there. And then go ahead and move back into your position and breathe nice and deep. So if you're in the shoulder stand, uh, we can move out of this with the use of plow. So if you'd like to cycle through that, we're going to start with the right foot and lower those right toes down behind the head, leaving the left leg up. And then inhale, lift your right leg back up to the sky, leave it there, and as you exhale, lower the left toes down towards the earth behind the head. Good, do that again. Inhale, come up. And then as we exhale, right leg straight as possible, lower those toes. Good, inhale, come up. Good, and then exhale, the left toes down, right toes to the sky. Good, inhale, lift those left toes up. And then both together, left and right leg will lower straight as possible, over just as we started. So we're gonna to start to roll out. So you might be able to Lower your palms down, use them as brakes, and start to lower one vertebrae at a time. Press the back of the head into the mat here. If your legs up or any other variation, you can start to move yourself onto your back, onto your mat. Good. Take a nice deep breath in here. Press the palms firmly and slowly extend the legs. Out. Keep pressing the shoulders, back of the head down. Good. Keep extending the heels. We're almost there. Good. When the heels touch down, separate the feet. Go ahead and turn the palms up and relax. So next position will be our bridge and our wheel. So we can bring our legs together, point the toes. Circle the arms back, reach the fingers. Take a really nice deep breath in, stretch your body, fill up. Exhale, relax the arms right down along the sides. Bend your knees here and plant your feet. Good, we want them right in line where the leg bones come in towards the buttocks, okay? So that gives us that hip bone distance. Good, bring them as close to you as you can. Arms are like railings, fingertips to shoulders. Everything is pressing back. Good, put a tuck in the tail. Low back comes into contact with the earth. Press heavily into the feet, the palms, the shoulders, and then inhale, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Good. 
Now, try not to let the knees fall out to the side. Press heavily into the big toes. Imagine or actually place a yoga block or even that blanket or something between the knees if you need that squeezing point. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Lift up high onto the shoulders. Good. Keep breathing here. Just attuning the body again to this opening of the front side of the body. Push into the feet, hips lift. How about those ribs? Can we lift them up and then move that heart center towards the chin? Great. Take one more nice deep breath in. Lift everything up, 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 up. And then exhale, nice and slowly lower the spine down to the earth. Good. Pause there. We're going to do another round. So during the second round, you can go ahead and take another bridge, or if you'd like to, you can take a wheel, and we're going to have a third round as well. So from here, if you're moving into bridge, we follow the same setup as we just did, tucking the tail, low back presses, feet, palms, and shoulders. If you're moving into your wheel, we bring those palms right up beside the head, Fingertips pointing towards the shoulders. Elbows stay in, shoulder distance apart. Good. And if you're going to come into that wheel, we start by coming onto the head first. If you're into the bridge, start by lifting the hips. Good. Continuing to press in the feet and palms, shoulders for you and bridge. Keep lifting the belly and the heart. If you're coming into that wheel, starting to lift yourself up there. Trying to straighten those legs, straighten those arms, bringing the hips up high. All together, bridge your wheel, take one more breath in, lift everything up. Exhale with control, slowly lowering down. Good, relax in there onto the earth, just for a moment. Breathe. Good. Last round. Bridge or wheel. Set yourself up. And when you're ready, on your inhale, you can start to move into your position. Lift those hips. Lift the navel. Lift the heart center. If you're up in the wheel, push into those feet, push into those palms. All together, take one more nice deep breath in. With control, exhale, lower yourself down and out. Let's talk, go ahead and relax those arms out. Extend your feet one at a time and take a few nice deep breaths. Good. Go ahead and bring your legs together. Point your toes. Circle the arms back alongside the head. Good. Take a really nice deep breath in. Stretch yourself out. Reach, reach, reach. And let's exhale. Sit up. Just that one time. Go ahead and move yourself back onto your mat if you need to. So we lengthen the front side of the body with our bridge and our wheel here. And now we're going to stretch out the back side of the body a little bit. If you need a lift, uh, you can go ahead and apply that now. I like to use this little lift of a blanket just on the edges of the hips. Good. So we're going to come into a three-part forward fold. Uh, we'll do Janashirshasana and then Hashimottanasana. So Janashirshasana is the one leg at a time we're going to bend. So we're going to draw our left heel back towards us here. Keep those right toes pointing straight up. Then we're going to let our left knee fall out to the side. Just let it hang out to the side. Bring the sole of the foot and the inner thigh together there. Good. So when making any sort of adjustments, we don't want to over torque the hips. We don't want to pull this left hip back. So give the right hip a little pull muscularly back. It'll turn you. So now you're facing straight down this right leg. Fingertips on either side of the leg, sit up nice and tall. Good, the point is the heart towards the toe, okay? So we're gonna inhale, sit up. 
and then exhale, lean the heart towards the toe. We walk our hands out for some support, but we're not overreaching. Good, look at that toe, pull that toe back, draw that heart forward, so pull those shoulders back gently. Good, take one more nice deep breath in here. Exhale, lean to your furthest. Before we round out, we'll go ahead and take a grip. Good, pull the heart, bow the chin. Release that left knee, just let it hang open. So breathe nice and deeply here. So we're compressed over that right side and that right thigh and low abdomen. And we're breathing into that big open left side. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in, fill and lengthen. Exhale, fold just a little bit further. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Big breath in, inhale. Come on up, turn the palms out, circle the hands down. Let's go ahead and lift that left knee up and extend the left leg up. Give it a gentle shake if you like. Good. If you come off that lift, you need to make any adjustments, you can set yourself up. Now it's the right leg. Draw the foot back towards you. And then bring the sole of the foot in towards the thigh and let the knee fall out. So again, we didn't make any crazy adjustments here with the hip to take us out of alignment. Draw back muscularly. Good. Fingers on either side of this left leg. Now sit up nice and tall. Flex that left foot. Expose the sternum there. Draw those shoulders back. Good. Big breath comes in. Exhale. We start to lean the heart forward. Good. Inhaling, exhaling, leaning. We can walk those hands a little bit further. Again, we're not overreaching. They're just there for some support for now. Keep dragging the heart towards the toe. Pull the toes back towards you. You can turn those hands in now. Take a grip on the leg, the ankle, or the foot. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Press the heart forward. Exhale, lean to your furthest without rounding. And then we start to bow the chin. Keep drawing those shoulders back. Good, feel that length in the back side of the leg, and right up from the sole of the foot, the hip, the low back, maybe the spine. Breathe into it. Janu Shirashasana. Now here we're compressing that low left quadrant, and we're breathing into the open right side. Good, let's take one more nice deep breath in, lengthen, fill up. Exhale, fold to your furthest place. And then inhale, look forward. And then exhale, reach the arms. Big breath, inhale, sit up. Turn the palms up and exhale, circle the hands down. Let's go ahead and lift the right knee up. Good, and extend that leg out. Give a gentle shake. Good, let's prepare for Paschimottanasana. So again, we're gonna have that little lift or not. Moving the flesh from the sit bones. Both of the legs are together here. Good. Push out through the heels. Draw all ten of the toes back. Good. Palms rest right beside our hips. Push into them. So depending on your proportions, again, we might have straight arms, or we might have this bend in the arms. We just don't want to lift those shoulders up. We want to keep them down and gently squeezing back. Expose the heart center. If those elbows are bent, squeeze them in too. Good, breathe here. On your next breath in, inhale, sweep both of the arms right up alongside the head. As we exhale, just lean the heart as far as you can, keeping those arms next to your head. Don't let them fall forward. Inhale, we sit back up. And then exhale, lean heart and upper body forward. One more, inhale, big breath comes in, sit up, reach up, fill up. Exhale, lean the heart towards the toes, and then we let the hands come down. So you might reach the toes, the feet, the ankles, or the calves, the knees, take a gentle grip. Still depressing and drawing the shoulders back, drag that heart forward now. Good, pull all 10 toes back, deep breath comes in, Exhale, you lean to that furthest place, don't round, and you bow the chin. So here, it's the intense stretch to the west.
So some people are very, very flexible. You can collapse right down onto the lap, but we want to maintain that stretch. Tucking the chin gently, shoulders drawing back, feet are flexed. Slowly over time, with patience, the body will open. Just keep breathing. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold to that furthest place. And then inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, again, reach forward alongside the head. Big breath, inhale, sit up. Turn the palms out and circle the hands down. If you're sitting on something, let's go ahead and remove that off to the side. Good, option one is the incline plane. So you can point the toes, take the hands back behind you. Uh, fingers point away from you. There's also the option of the reverse table. So at any time, if any of these uh, bother your wrists, you have the options of moving into the other position. So incline plane, reverse table, pointing the toes in the plane. We're going to gaze down towards the navel. Lean back into those palms in both positions. A little bend in the elbows. On the inhale, start to lift the hips up. Keep gazing down in front of the body. Good. In both positions, maybe. It's okay with your neck. You can look straight up to the ceiling. And then from there, potentially extending the crown and releasing it back. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. Lift everything up. Look forward. And then exhale. Let's go ahead and lower down to the hips. Let's lower down onto the forearms and lower down onto the back. Draw the knees up into the chest. Take a gentle grip there and rock from side to side. Good. So return to the center. Squeeze your legs together. Flex your feet. And take your arms out to a T. Good. Keep gazing up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower your legs towards the right. Good. As you inhale, bring them back up. As you exhale, lower the legs towards the left. Good. Inhale, up to the top. Good. As you exhale, lower the legs, hovering towards the right. Move the chin towards the left. Good. Inhale, chin to center, knees to center. And then exhale, legs left, look right. Let's inhale. Chin and knees to center, and exhale, legs right, look left. Last round, inhale, center. Exhale, legs left, look right. Good, as you inhale, come up to the center, and exhale, lower the legs all the way down, keeping the left shoulder in contact with the earth. Chin moves to the left side, close the eyes, and here we can turn the palm up and breathe nice and deep.
exhalation, release all the breath, turn the palms down. On the inhale, bring the chin and the knees up. Good, go ahead and reach up for the fronts of the knees. Rock from side to side a few times. Good, return to the center. Let's go ahead and lift up the head, lift up the shoulders, wrap your forearms around those knees or shins. Draw yourself in nice and tight. Flex your feet, curl the toes in towards the soles. Good, take a really nice deep breath in. And then exhale, start to release the breath and keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep going, keep squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release yourself and extend the limbs out. Turn the palms up. Make yourself comfortable. If you need to cover yourself up, you can settle in for a few moments of relaxation. So let all the efforts go. Let all the breath work go. Just let it be natural sense of air. It's just enough to keep you alive. Just relax. Relax the feet, the ankles, relax the shins, the calves and the knees, relax those quads and hamstrings, relax the hips, the buttocks, the whole pelvis, relax your abdominal muscles, digestive organs, and the low back. Relax your chest, ribs, and upper back. Relax your hands, fingers, wrists. Relax the forearms and elbows. Relax the upper arms and shoulders, the throat, neck, and ears are relaxed, the scalp, and your face 
and starting to add some wiggling of the fingers and the toes here. Start to circle the hands and the feet around the wrists and the ankles, nice and slow. Pause and go in the opposite direction, allow the head to gently rock from side to side. Good. Bring the chin to center, relax the legs. Slide your legs together, point your toes, and circle the arms back alongside the head. One final stretch. Point those toes, reach the fingers, take a nice deep breath in, fill yourself up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, let's relax the hands down to the side, gently draw the knees up, take a grip there, just a couple of times rocking from side to side. So your favorite side, just roll over onto it and take a few moments there, still, relax. Put some pressure into that left palm in the earth and right elbow with closed eyes. Press yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position and just here for a moment to seal this practice in. So sit up nice and tall. Bring those hands to the heart center. And subtly bow the chin. Taking a moment to thank yourself this time you've given me. The practice of yoga, waking up the body, tuning the mind and the spirit. Closing this practice, joining me if you like with the chanting of all one time. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Thanks for joining me, everyone. We'll see you again.